The 2015 International Conference on Prevention and Infection Control is a three-day conference and focuses on an issue that has increased relevance worldwide, prevention and infection control. This world meeting in Geneva, at the initiative of the University Hospitals of Geneva, brings together the greatest experts. It has already become, in the space of only three editions, a point of reference whose importance goes well beyond the conference itself. That's thanks to numerous relayed cross-cutting initiatives, notably through social networks and participants who are now involved in prevention and infection control. Yes, it's the third edition. Yes, there are several uh, of those sessions, like the Semmelweis session, that are improving every year. And now I guess that we are at maturity. And then you want to continue to innovate all the time. But yes, it's very, very true that some of those sessions are mandatory now. People are waiting for those sessions, they know the session will, uh, will occur and they are coming to see that. So it's clear that maturity is probably a very good uh, way to define ICPIC. We have more and more faculties giving the best lectures and we have more and more people coming with their best research and the best science. So for us, what else do you want? It's just great. You can see what's new at the third ICMED certainly is the amount of social media interaction that really is fantastic. I think the amount of tweets is unbelievable. And we created a new series of talks, or we started off a new series of talks, the Pick Talks. And we really do hope that the Pick Talks will be, become an entity on itself and actually will be held in between egg picks too. This year, it's the Ebola virus which has logically become the main talking point at the heart of the conferences. Notably, the opportunity for the University Hospitals of Geneva to share their experiences of monitoring Ebola through the testing of a vaccine candidate, but also caring for a patient who has been infected by the Ebola virus originating from Africa. Ebola has been a, a, a real concern for everyone, but here in Geneva, in the University Hospitals, we had not only the possibility to develop a vaccine, uh, under the responsibility of the World Health Organization, but also to treat a, an Ebola patient, which arrived uh, last year and uh, is cured and is with us today, which is a great pleasure. I decided to, to come back to Geneva because in Geneva, uh, uh, the doctors and nurses of the huge hospital uh, saved my life and treat me with deference very kindly, very friendly, and very lovely people. It, for me, it's a new experience to tell to the, the assistants, to the audience, the, the experience about my treatment, about the, the patient in Africa, suffer from Ebola virus. This is a special moment for me to be here in Geneva because I am the first national infection prevention control coordinator. This is just a new structure in our ministry, in our government. So being the first is good for me to meet people, network and interact and learn best practices, what they do in their own country. So it's the best moment for me to be here and I've been looking forward to this opportunity to be able to actually read that pledge and say and sort of show my grief for our lost colleagues in Sierra Leone. So it is a pleasure for me to be here. Ebola was very important. We had this pre ICPIC workshop on Ebola. That was a great success. We had the privilege to have people from WHO, from MSF, from the Red Cross, and of course, physicians from Africa who have been traveling uh, the different countries affected by Ebola, who have been teaching, who have been actually giving advice in all those hospitals. We had physicians who treated Ebola in Africa and in Geneva, in Washington, in New York, that was absolutely unique. And this Ebola day, as people uh, now speak about it, was absolutely fantastic, according to everyone. Looking beyond current events, prevention and infection control are the permanent priorities which are the main concern of each point of care worldwide. The International Conference on Prevention and Infection Control, which takes place every two years, is also therefore the opportunity to focus everyone's attention on these cross-cutting subjects which concern each medical specialism and each point of care, from the most renowned to the most precarious. 
I would expect that in 2017 the biggest news will be more in the field of implementation of basic uh, infection control. Not so much very technology driven new devices. Of course there are interesting things going on. You may have new tools to disinfect the environment. But the, I would expect over the next two or three years the biggest uh, progress, the largest progress will be made all over the world when it comes to the question Okay, there is already evidence, but how are we going to implement it in real life? And this, I would expect, over the last, uh, next uh, five years at least, uh, we will have the greatest news, even from countries where at the moment you go into a hospital somewhere in a poor country where at the moment nobody cares about infection control, and this will certainly change over the next two, three years.